Hello and welcome to my video on how to install indicators on MetaTrader 4 and it should be pointed out MetaTrader 5 is the same deal so don't let that throw you off. One of the greatest advantages to using the MetaTrader platform is that it has not only great charting but it has a, an absolute universe of indicators and robots and everything else that you can add. In this case, we'll be talking about indicators, but know that expert advisors or automatic trading systems, those type of things, work very similar. In this scenario, I'm going to add a indicator onto this chart that tells me when the Asian markets are open or closed. It's relatively simple to find these indicators. They are all over the internet. Most of the time you can find pretty much everything you're looking for for free or a nominal cost. You can code whatever you want. It's a very simple coding uh, process that's beyond the scope of this video. Uh, but if you have any coding skills whatsoever, you'll find that the MQL4 or MQL5 coding languages are very simple. Keep in mind that uh, MQL5 will not work on a MetaTrader 4 platform most of the time. There is some overlap, so um, I have to say most of the time. Backwards compatibility, so if you're using MetaTrader 5, typically works out in your favor with an MQL4 indicator, but not always, so you'll have to kind of check each one. And that being said, let's take a look at how to add an indicator. It's very simple, you just click on the file, Go to open your data folder and you can see the window pops up. It's uh, you know, I'm using the windows machine. So you can see MQL four and that's going to keep experts, files, images, indicators, etc., in there. Now inside this folder, you have the indicators. Now, if you click on the indicators, you can see that there are a lot of indicators in here already. Um, but if you want to do a custom indicator as we do in this video, Let's go ahead and close this out and let's shrink this down. You can see that I have an Asian session indicator that I downloaded off the internet. Right click on that, click copy, bring your platform back up, go back to where we were. So let's open that data folder. Let's open MQL4 and then on indicators highlighted, right click and then just paste that right in there. Let's make sure that it's still there or that it's been put there, I should say. And you can see that it has. So we need to close the program to let it restart. It does a little bit of uh, catching up, so to speak. Let's click on the platform again to bring it up. And this time when we bring it up, it should be available in the indicators custom. And it's down here below the screen here. I'll click on it. And you can see that it'll show you colors, about, common, inputs, visualization. You may have to mess with the DLL imports. It just kind of comes down to uh, how it's run. That should be in your instructions. Most of the time, you don't have to do too much, though. You click on OK. And you can see that it shows your average range in this case. And it is the weekend, so it shows that this is the open. And when you uh, perhaps... You can go through your various charts. You can insert and just make sure that it shows up everywhere. Click OK, and you can see that uh, in this case, it's got enough historical data that um, you know we can go ahead and zoom out, and you can see that the open and close, and it says 20.6. Obviously, you can change the colors of your chart or the colors of the indicator. It's a little easier to see there. Asian session open. You can see 20.6 pips in the uh, Euro Swiss during that trading session and so on. So that's just one example of a indicator, ex uh, an external custom indicator that you can use on MetaTrader 4. There are thousands of them out there freely available. Some cost money. Um, and of course, you can always create your own, but that is... 
a little bit more involved process.